Hi, this is Teo from Parkablocks.com. Today I'm going to review the Steelman and Burn Zeta series sketchbook. So you might have watched my other reviews for the Steelman and Burn sketchbooks. They have six series: the Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, and the Zeta. The Zeta sketchbook uh, has um, 52 pages. They are heavyweight, 270 GSM paper. So the sketchbooks uh, have very good binding. They open flat. I think this one, this is quite an old sketchbook of mine, and I think some part of the glue have already came off the the paper section here. But because the binding is actually stitched binding, so uh, it's still durable in that sense because you pages are still together. So let's take a look at closer at some of the sketches I drew inside this book. The 270 GSM paper makes this sketchbook suitable for the more heavy duty work. For example, if you want to layer a lot of watercolor and stuff like that, or use markers, for example. So for this sketchbook, I use predominantly uh, markers and ink. Although some on some pages, I think they are watercolor. This is a watercolor sketch. Uh, the paper is white and it's very smooth as compared to cold press. So. Uh, you use watercolor, the watercolor might glide on the paper a bit so be careful about how much water you are going to be using for your watercolor. So let's take a look at some of the sketches. Um, the pen and ink works exceptionally well. The strokes come out very sharp. There are no, no feathering at all. I really like uh, pen using pen on these sketchbooks as well as markers. So you can see here I use Copic marker on this particular page and because the paper is so thick there's no... I think you still see some slight impression of the markers but it's not a really a big issue. These are uh, more markers. So you can see uh, it's very... you can't really see the impression from the markers on the opposite page. Uh, okay, this is a uh, water soluble graphite. It, uh, it appears a bit patchy because the water glides on the surface uh, for a while before it actually dries up. The paper doesn't absorb water that well, so this is not a sketchbook that will go to for watercolor work. Uh, we'll, uh, for watercolor, I will go for probably the beta or the delta. So beta and delta they are also 270 GSM but their surface is cold pressed and they take water much better than this uh, smooth surface here. Uh, for smooth surface I think it's more suitable for pen and ink drawing. So I've laid all this uh, black with a brush. So you can see that even though it's quite heavily uh, layered, it's, it doesn't show across to the next page. This is a warm tone Copic marker. This is water soluble graphite again. I think it does it feels a bit patchy to me because of the surface. I know that there are many other artists who like to use this um, sketchbook for watercolor works as well. But this is, I think they are more suitable sketchbook for watercolor. This one is really more for pen and ink, I think. And also, if you like smooth paper for color pencil work, the, this, might, uh, this might be a good choice as well. But there are only 52 pages, so if you want smooth paper, you can go for the, I would say, the Epsilon, I think. Yeah, this is the Epsilon paper. So let me see some color pen some pencil works. So this is the type of effect we get if you are going to be on using pencil on this sketchbook. And because you are using color pencils, probably there there's it's probably not necessary to 
have such a thick paper so unless you want to spray fixative on it then in that case um, using a thick paper will help because it might warp the thinner epsilon paper so for color pencil i would probably suggest the epsilon instead of this uh, heavyweight paper As you can see, I use a lot of uh, markers for this sketchbook. So for really juicy markers, like really wet markers, in this case the red color, it does bleed through a bit. But for all these Copic markers that you can see, all these examples of Copic markers there, they don't really bleed through, so it's quite safe for Copic. But for some other brands of markers, maybe you will have to uh, test it first. Yep, so that's it for this review. So, for the Zeta series sketchbook, I would recommend it for ink and marker works. Uh, if you'd like to do ink washes, as in black ink washes, uh, this is a very good sketchbook to do. If you like watercolor sketches, then I would suggest going for the Beta or the Delta series instead because of their cold press paper. This one is, uh, the paper here is a bit smooth so it's not the type of uh, surface texture that I like to use with watercolor. So if you want to use color pencils, uh, if you want more pages and want to use color pencils then it's the Epsilon sketchbook. But if you want to use color pencil on thicker paper then yeah you can get the Zeta sketchbook. So that's all for this review. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe to this channel because I will be posting more art product reviews in the future. And uh, if you want links to where you can find this Stillman and Burn uh, Zeta sketchbook, uh, the links are in the description below. The description also will link to my written review as well as all the sketches that I have scanned on the review. So. You can check it out there. Thank you for watching.